less than three years, you took the nation's highest surplus in history and turned it into the biggest deficit in history. You put two million Americans out of work and then made the biggest cut in unemployment benefits in U.S. history. Because of your tax cuts, the wealthiest 1% of our nation will continue to own more than 40% of our nation's wealth, leaving little opportunity for our generation. Thank you. Thank you for a promising future. government warns Britain, if you leave the North American Free Trade Agreement by the United Nations, you face barriers to trading with America. The United States is not keen on pursuing a separate free trade deal with Britain if it leaves the European Union. The U.S. Trade Representative, Michael Froman, said the first public comments from a senior U.S. official on the matter. Voters are due to decide by the end of 2017 whether the UK should remain in the EU. An opinion poll show rising support for leaving the bloc. Officials playing the New World Order politics game. So let's get real about the truth of what is taking place around the world. Detroit, Puerto Rico, Greece, Russia, and around 137 G7 nations that stand against the central banking system known as the Federal Reserve, dubbed the New World Order. A long time ago, the Federal Reserve System, also known informally as the Fed, is the central banking system of the United States. It was created on December 23, 1913, with the enactment of the Federal Reserve Act, largely in response to a series of financial panics, particularly a severe panic, in 1907. Over time, the roles and responsibilities of the Federal Reserve System have expanded and its structure has evolved. Events such as the Great Depression in the 1930s were major factors leading to changes in the system. The U.S. Congress established three key objectives for monetary policy in the Federal Reserve Act, maximum employment, stable prices, and moderate long-term interest rates. The first two objectives are sometimes referred to as the Federal Reserve's dual mandate. Its duties have expanded over the years, and as of 2009 also include supervising and regulating banks, maintaining the stability of the financial system and providing financial services to depository institutions, the U.S. government, and foreign official institutions. The Fed conducts research into the economy and releases numerous publications, such as the Big Book. The Federal Reserve System structure is composed of the Presidentially Appointed Board of Governors or Federal Reserve Board, FRB, Partially Presidentially Appointed Federal Open Market Committee, FOMC, Non-Presidentially Appointed 12 Regional Federal Reserve Banks, located in major cities throughout the nation, numerous privately owned U.S. member banks and various advisory councils. The federal government sets the salaries of the board's seven governors. Central Banks A central bank, reserve bank, or monetary authority is an institution that manages a state's currency, money supply, and interest rates. Central banks also usually oversee the commercial banking system of their respective countries. In contrast to a commercial bank, a central bank possesses a monopoly on increasing the monetary base in the state, and usually also prints the national currency, which usually serves as the state's legal tender. Examples include the European Central Bank, ECB, the Bank of Japan, the Bank of England, the Federal Reserve of the United States, and the People's Bank of China. Woodrow Wilson signed the 1913 Federal Reserve Act. A few years later he wrote, I am a most unhappy man. I have unwittingly ruined my country. Which was a lie out of his mouth. He got paid for treason of our constitutional laws. 
New World Order, Politics, Conspiracy Theory, the moment of euphoria at the end of the Cold War generated an illusion of harmony, which was soon revealed to be exactly that. The world became different in the early 1990s, but not necessarily more peaceful. Change was inevitable, progress was not. The illusion of harmony at the end of that Cold War was soon dissipated by the multiplication of ethnic conflicts and ethnic cleansing, the breakdown of law and order, the emergence of new patterns of alliance and conflict among states, the resurgence of neo-communist and neo-fascist movements, intensification of religious fundamentalism, the end of the diplomacy of smiles, and policy of yes in Russia's relations with the West, the inability of the United Nations and the United States to suppress bloody local conflicts, and the increasing assertiveness of a rising China. In the five years after the Berlin Wall came down, the word genocide was heard far more often than in any five years of the Cold War. The one harmonious world paradigm is clearly far too divorced from reality to be a useful guide to the post-Cold War world. Two worlds, us and them. While one world expectations appear at the end of major conflicts, the tendency to think in terms of two worlds recurs throughout human history. People are always tempted to divide people into us and them, the in-group and the other, our civilization and those barbarians. We are anonymous. We do not forget. We do not forgive. Expect us. Music